Hey everyone and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Origins. On this video, we're going to be doing the side quest, Gear Up. Hebzepha has warned Bayek that he'll need to improve his gear if he wants to defeat Madunaman. The reward is 500 experience and our current objective is to craft a breastplate. And in order to do that, we need some soft leather. So press up on the d-pad to call Sinu to find new crafting materials. Move the reticle with the right stick to target soft leather and press X to track it. So as she's flying around, she's going to spot materials and you can mark those with X. So there's some ore right there being transported. Uh, and there's some leather out there, most likely some animals. Let's go ahead and mark it. You can also press L2 to enter hover mode so she can look around. And R2 will give you a boost if you want to move faster. And when you're done, press circle to exit. And while we're over here, let's go listen to this guy. Sacred duty to pay taxes to the Pharaoh. It is a sacred duty to heed him in all things. To do otherwise is a betrayal of the gods. <laughs> Yes, yeah, yeah. Bet. By order of the royal court, all villagers are required to come forward with any knowledge concerning the Temple of Amun and any secrets it may hold. <laughs> Citizens of Siwa, behold what becomes of those who disobey Medunamun, priest to the Pharaoh. Take care you faithfully follow his beneficent commands. You owe all you have. Your farms, your goods, your children. You owe your very lives to His Highness, Ptolemy, the benefactor, ruler of the two lands. I owe nothing. It is a sacred duty I'm done listening to you. It is a sacred duty. Alright, so we need to go 370 meters to those animals. Let's go ahead and summon up the mount. Hey! Oh, heads up. Coming through. Hey, it's a mule. I honestly had no idea there was mules in Egypt. I learned something new today. Uh, let's go off-road. Let's see, 180 meters. It's quite a ways out there. Is there really nothing closer? Oh, wait. I see one. It's a gazelle. Yeah! Oh, there's another one. Wow, they're kind of oblivious. Oh, I think Sinu's after it. Oh, nice. I think Sinu just took that down. I didn't know she could do that. Anyways, let's loot that. Got some soft leather and something else. What was that? Gazelle hooves. You know it's trading in the market, but you have absolutely no idea why. Yeah. Some more soft leather, some more gazelle hooves. Alright, yeah, look at that, Sinu took that one down. That's awesome. This will be enough. Thanks to Naeth, goddess of hunting. Go to the crafting section in the gear page to upgrade your breastplate. So, over to gear. There's the breastplate, and we have the five soft leather that we need, so we'll hold X to craft that. And you can see it went up a rank. It's rank one, I believe it goes up to, what is that, ten? Looks like ten notches there. This will work perfectly. And that completes that quest, and we get our 500 experience. Ooh, and we can get some arrows right there. Find new quest. When you want to find a new quest, look for the exclamation mark. Your eagle can help you find it, or you can directly open your world map. Uh, press the touchpad to open the world map. So here's the world map. You can see we have a quest there. The healer, it's a side quest, it's level 3. All of the exclamation marks tell you the name of the quest, if it's a main quest or a side quest, and the level. Uh, let's see, what else do we got? We got these rectangles, those are screenshots taken by other players. 
Uh, this particular one has 6,526 likes. That seems suspicious. I think that's an Ubisoft employee, especially with the uh, name there, Ubilon09. But anyways, if you want to see the screenshot, you press triangle. And there it is. And if you want to like it yourself, you can press square. Uh, let's see. These question marks are locations. Every location I've gone to so far has objectives that you can complete to give you experience. Uh, we've got stables. I haven't visited those yet. There's the weaver. That's uh, someone who sells you outfits. That's a Ptolemy statue. I don't know what that is. Uh, these are locations that you can climb up and uh, sink just like the old games. I don't know if it's called sink in this game, but anyways, you climb up it and then uh, you can fast travel there in the future. And I think that's it. This thing's another fast travel point, but I don't know why I can't currently do it. So that's weird. I was able to fast travel to it before. So anyways, before we finish up here, I think we're going to go do a location. Uh, this is where we started. So I guess we may as well go back here because we rode through here before without stopping. So let's go there and we'll uh, complete that location. And I also want to get these arrows. Let me do that. Wow, gave me a bunch. Oh, and we got some loot here. Get some coins. Oh, a new pelt. It was purple. Purple is usually good. Let's see. Nothing compares to lion or leopard fur when a cold night approaches. So, lion or leopard fur. Nice. Okay, back on the mount. And we're going... Let's see. It's off that way, but I don't want to go through the desert. I want to see some sights. So let's just go this way. Oh, also, if you want to, you can press and hold X, and that'll take you to the nearest road. Um, so we're already on the road, but I'll follow road, and then if I press triangle, it'll take me to the waypoint that I just made. So I don't have to press anything, it'll just take me there automatically. So I am free to look around at all the beautiful scenery. And it is certainly a beautiful game. Something bad happened over there. It's like there was a fire, maybe? Well, I don't know what happened over there. We'll have to check that out later, but it looks like a fire. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's another fire. Going on over here, some sort of, some sort of farm. You look at me like that again. I'll put your eye out. <laughs> All right, we are leaving the settlement. And we're back to this spot. New location discovered, the vulture lair. And on the bottom left, you can see the location objectives. We need to kill animals, zero out of one, and it'll have a special marker. Um, so let's see, let's get off the horse. Maybe we can find it. Before it just attacked me, but this time, not so much. Oh, wait, I think something might be after me. Is it him? I can't tell. Well, it must be him. Yep, he's got the special marker. He's a level three. Block that. Slice him up. Oh, he's too quick. Hmm, I might have to shoot him. I can't seem to hit him very well. There we go. Got him that time. Hey! Alright, we're gonna shoot you. You're a pain. Oh, yeah! Oh, how'd I miss there? Block! Slash! I'd like to poison him. That would make him easy. But I have to hit him to poison him. There we go, got him that time, and he's poisoned or bleeding or something. Yay, we did it! Location completed, Vulture Lair, and that's worth 150 experience. Not quite enough to get me to level 3. 
And I got some sort of uh, vulture thing. Vulture skull. How did I get six skulls from one vulture? Weird. When the scavenger becomes the scavenged. Maybe he like killed other vultures and he was wearing them as like a necklace. He's the vulture king. All right, so anyways, uh, if we look at our map now, you'll see that it's no longer a question mark. It's the vulture lair and you can see the objective is done. And I think we're all good here. Why is gear highlighted? I don't know. It acts, it acts like I have something new. But I don't think I do. Hmm. I think it's just being buggy. Unless there's like a new sword or something I picked up. No? I have no idea. But it's marked with the... Oh, ranged. Earn... I there's nothing new under ranged. Maybe I just never highlighted this. Uh, the hunting bow. Power charge. Ideal for hunting animals, but suitable for human prey as well. Oh, okay. Well, that got rid of it. Alright, so we are going to wrap it up right here. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.